Ouch, that hurts. Okay. I hate bandanas, but I have to wear it. Quick disclaimer, I'm wearing this bandana because I can't stand the sweat getting into my face and my eyes, so... <sighs> you can say I finally cracked. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Dustin, and welcome back to StarCraft Remastered. This is going to be Zerg, part number 9. I thought I saw somebody. I, never mind, I'm going crazy. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm wearing the bandana to keep sweat out of my face, so I'm sorry, but I usually don't do this because it kind of has more of like a, a yo, what's up, boy, type of a mentality, so I <laughs> probably just offended a lot of people. Sorry, bye. <laughs> Tassadar and the Dark Templar Zero Tools survived Kerrigan's vicious attacks, but their Templar armies have been decimated. Kerrigan, left behind to hunt down and eradicate the remaining Protoss warriors, begins to scour the burning wasteland of Jar for her elusive prey. Meanwhile, the entirety of the extended Zerg swarm teleported through space-time and began its long-awaited invasion of the hated Protoss homeworld of Aya. Sorry, my voice is not warmed up for the day. <laughs> the invasion of Aya. Zerg swarm high or orbit over Protoss homeworld of Aya. My children, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Aya shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... perfect. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kedaran Crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrate. Secure the crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the swarm. So I want to preface this, because I know what mission this is. It's going to take a while. I don't know how long. I, I really don't. All I know is they give me a ton of minerals and a ton of Vespine for me to just mess this whole rigmarole up. So keep that in mind, I'm going to take a very long time trying to do this mission because I'm going to play it extremely safe. So these guys, we'll put them on seven. So we have to go and extract this crystal, bring it back. Simple enough, right? Long. <laughs> it's not simple, actually. Uh, hang on one second. I'll have to fix that in the editing process because my volume wasn't set right. Crap. Oh well. <laughs> this is a great start to this episode, right? Ding. Yeah. I said it's gonna be a while. It's gonna it's gonna take a while to do this mission, and I do apologize. I really do. But you know, I'm tired of like I feel like. And, and I know a lot of it has to do with the way that people are. I myself am that way as well. Where I don't want to wait for things. I don't even know why I'm doing that and wasting resources on that. I probably should just be trying to get a layer. But people do this, including myself. Or I get impatient and I don't want to watch a full video about something. All because I want to see like the nitty gritty story part of the whole thing. And I might go back at some point in the future. I'm not promising anything. But I might go back in sometime in the future when I get bored and go through every single episode I've made up to date. Well, maybe all of them. And just grab all the story bits and kind of, like, piece them together, if you will. And, like, I mean, that might be kind of cool to do. I like that idea, but we'll see. No promises. Don't hold me to it. Yeah, especially not on Twitter. Or Facebook. <laughs> Anyways, enough messing around. Uh, let's see. Let's get an extractor. Can you guys move a little bit forward? I'm kind of afraid, but half tempted to go and scout a little bit. So we need to get a hive next. Because what I think of, about doing, I'm probably going to go with my normal, which is the Mutalisk Guardian. But... If I remember correctly, sometimes I might need that extra anti-air defense, so I might go with, like, a, a fleet or two of Scourge. Yes, I know I can say fleet. Calm down. I'm, I'm just trying to get in the mentality that this may be somebody's first video. <laughs> 
So if it is, I'm trying to be kind of fair to everybody, so to say. Be like, oh, you're new? Welcome. And I hope I don't come across as annoying. <laughs> and if I do, oh well. I can't really apologize about that. That's who I am now. Okay, fine, I'll wait. Come on, build it. Thank you. So, so far, so good. It's been a couple of minutes. Um, let's get that over there. Let's get you right there. You right there. And let's throw you over here. Why not? Throw you down here, actually. And you over here. I need to kind of get some anti-error. The fan she is. Um, we can get the hive now. Once we get enough minerals, I'm waiting for it. There we go. I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious of spamming it because I know that can be extremely annoying. Actually, let's make you a sunken, or excuse me, a spore. That way, because this sunken should be able to attack anything that's melee attacking it. And same thing with this one. Hello! Protoss, zealot. See? Haha! See? I was smart to do that. Haha, sucker. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not evil, I swear. I'm a nice guy in real life. That you know of. Anyways, um, now that it, like 5% five, 5 of people just clicked away, good to know. Let's get a couple of overlords. Let's get a new list. Require more minerals. Require more minerals. Yep, knew that was coming. I'm gonna wait. Any second now. Okay. So let me go ahead and put that right there. Let's put this guy right there. Just because why not? Let's get this guy going up right there. Move my guitar pick. That was funny. Okay. So these guys will eventually be guardians, I feel. So let's go ahead and scan down a little bit. I know there's a cliff here. Photon cannon, hello. Photon cannon there too. Stop attacking, oh gosh. Stop attacking the same guy, jeez. Okay, another photon cannon, that's nice, not nice. Wow, I am completely surrounded. On the plus side, there's a huge cliff area, so I mean, I probably could extend the creep all the way down over to here. So there's kind of a wall thing going there. So this is the only way ground forces can get out of this area. Which I'm not too concerned with that, in all honesty. Let's do that, and we'll get maybe a couple more overlords. There we go. Oh, sorry, I need to get the greater spire as well. And I might run out of gas in a while. It's gonna take a while before I run out, but... I'm not talking about just the game. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> so far. Uh, I'm lovely. No, I'm <laughs> joking. I just like to make things a little awkward as well. Okay, so this guy, we'll put him on four. So what I'm going to do, my control groups, to kind of explain them a little bit. I'll have one go right there. You go there. So one is going to be Guardians. Two is going to be Mutalisk. I could just go Guardian Scourge, but I don't want to risk that. So it'll be Guardian, Mutalisk, and Scourge with five. I'll change it to five as the Overlord, because that way I can have like two groups of Scourge if I feel so inclined. The Scourge is expensive. But I mean, two for the price of one, and it does a lot more damage than one Mutalisk does in one shot, so. I can't really complain, but I can. You know, it's kind of like bad give and take. Like a bad relationship. No. <laughs> not trying to make any statements with that. I just, I just, again, like to make things a little awkward from time to time. That's all. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Um. Okay, never mind. Let's run back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, let's go right there. I'm only going to extend out creep colonies where 
the creep colonies will have each other's back, if you will. And by creep colony, I actually mean sunken colony. So let's keep this whole creep push thing. Come on, dude. Make it. There we go. I have a full fleet of mutilists now. That's nice. I'm waiting for this. Well, I'm not even researching it. Never mind. Don't I feel stupid now? Okay, let's throw some more drones on the, the line over here. So these guys are going to be on two. Um, let's get that, please. Get another sunken. I think for right now, I might be able to just use my mutilisks to kind of go in between each one, maybe. Or have like a spore in between each one. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay, so we need more overlords soon. Doing good, doing good. Doing real good. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it's kind of hot in here. I know I say that a lot, and I know that's probably annoying to hear by now, but... I mean, this room is kind of small. It's not like a big open area. So it like gets it gets hot real quick with only one person. I just said hot kind of like it gets hot. <laughs> really weird. Weirdly hot. Wow, I can't talk today. Nah. Um, go over there, buddy. Don't know how long you've been sitting there doing nothing, but Okay. I just noticed oh Ah, stop it. This makes the noise of a guardian. Or at least sounds like it does. Speaking of, let's get you guys over there. Um, and then I guess we'll just keep going on that. Evolution complete. Oh, it's the overload movement speed. Okay, good. I might. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get like six more overlords. <laughs> Because I might run with a couple of different overlords, like a couple on the Guardians, a couple next to the Mutilus, maybe a couple with the Scourge, just because, why not? Because they have Dark Templars, and I'm trying to remember, do they? I don't know if they have any cloaked air units. Either way, I don't really want to find out. Yeah, good thing I'm making some right now. Get ready for two more to hatch. Holy moly, okay. So now let's go ahead and have some of these gents and ladies, if you can even call them that, kind of patrol around. Okie dokie. Um, let's get more overlords. So we'll do that. We'll get more mutas. Muta, muta, muta. M muta, muta, muta. Okay. Wow, this is, this is going pretty good, actually. For 11 minutes in, I'm I'm kind of surprised. I'm, I try to leave most of this unedited, so most of it. There might be a couple times where I have to like make some drastic changes, but you know, so whatever. Okay, so am I making one more? I need like one more Overlord. I'll do that. Uh, making one more mutilisk, so I only really need just one more, and we have two full fleets. Come on, right there. There we go. So I'll have two on each, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. What the? Okay. Goodbye. Loser. Bloop, bloop. Okay, so do you guys have two following you? Yeah, you do. Okay. So I will have the other one follow one of these other ones. I'm not sure which one it's following, but that's fine by me. Okay. Now we need to start getting some guardians. 
while I'm at it, I'm going to add some spore colonies to kind of and more sunken colonies to protect these. Because once I leave with the mutilus, they'll be defenseless against air units for the most part. And I still might do the scourge thing. I don't know. It depends on a couple of different factors. So I'm going to double down on the sunken and put a spore in front on pretty much each of these. Uh, let's move these guys over here so that way they're out of the way. Put that right there then. Sunken, that'll be a spore. I'll leave one more right there. I'll put maybe one more over there and one more up there and then we'll call it good for base defense. Uh, we'll do... I guess either one. No, I'll put it on this side. I think. I don't know. Okay, hold. Hold, hold. Okay. So this is going to be another sunken. This is going to be the spore. Get three of you over here. Two more of you. You need to go up over there. Okay, so this guy will run with this guy and this guy. Okay. Score, sunken. And then I guess I'll put them right over here somewhere. That might be the, the front guy right there. Put two more right here. Seems good to me, anyways. Sound good? Sound good. Let's do this. There'll be a spore, there'll be a spore, sunken, sunken, and you two will be sunken, and I'm still waiting for these, so. Um, sunken, and sunken, there we go. Alright. Oh. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, 15 minutes in, not, not going too bad. You know, if I just stick with one strategy, I think I'll do fine, but nope, I'll never do fine. Yeah. Okay, so remember how I said we might have enough? That was 5,000 at one point. It's now 2,152. Well, and slowly declining, or rapidly declining, I should say. So these are all good. I even have overlords patrolling outside of it. Um, I have plenty of supply, like I'm not going to be supply blocked if they destroy a couple of them. That's why I'm going with four overlords here. Okie dokie. And I'm learning from when I did the first couple of missions. When you attack, it pokes a hornet's nest and they all come running at you. All available units, if they can attack you, they're coming. And it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know if it's just the way that the, they've changed the AI or if it's always been that way. I recall that it's always been that way, but I, it's been forever since I played the original, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like I forgot a little bit. Like, look at these dragoons here, okay? Watch, watch what happens. I attack one, they all come running. It's probably gonna alert every single dragoon in the county too. I say I use the word county loosely. It's like the whole entire map at this point. Okay, so let's just kind of go around the outside of the map. And I'm going to try to keep up on mutilus production so I can keep building more in the event that I lose everything. So there is a second base I could expand to with another 5,000 Vespine. Good to know. Oh, don't, don't do that. You scared me. What's wrong with you? Huh? Jeez. Let's make more. Because I'll probably have to, honestly, have to get more guardians more than anything else. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Look at that. Just go down. Reaver, where are you going, buddy? Oh, I see.
see, there goes the zealot. I wonder where he's going. I say sorry. Said nobody seriously. <laughs> Bye, zealot. Bye. Sorry, little probe. Yep, here they come. Oh, carp. This is also why I have a couple of meters at base. I figured they'd try to do a, a reaver thing on me. Oh, why did you get so close? Oh, ouch. That hurts, bro. That hurts. That hurts. That hurt a lot, bro. Why'd you have to go and point out my insecurities like that, man? Why? Okay, I think I could be safe to put these guys on four for now. I knew if they brought in Reavers, I'd, I'd be a sitting duck. Why'd you have to do that, bro? Okay, so this base is almost completely mined out. I just secured like a third expansion, if you will. And like I said, I'm trying to do this very systematically, very carefully, because if I make one little mistake, I'm going to have to reload a save, which, speaking of which, might as well do that. <laughs> because why not? That right there. I mean, I probably could extend out to the wall, you know, the, the cliff over here, so that way they, when they drop the Reavers down, they immediately get attacked. Which would be a smart thing to do, but am I known for my smarts? No, I'm not known at all. <laughs> okay. I like making fun of myself because I figure somebody's going to like that. Come on, get rid of the photon cannon, guys. There you go. Um, can we get more attack? I feel like that would be better than what I'm doing. Because when I get... If I can make it to the crystal without losing anything... One, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Like, legitimately surprised. Will that happen? Probably not. I'm just going to go on record and say probably not. This, I think the pylons have a lot more armor than the photon cannons. Or just maybe a lot more shield. I think it might be just the shield part of it. Because it takes a while to kill a pylon. That's a different color. That's teal. This is yellow. I'm poking the other bear. Yeah, look on the map. There's, it's yellow. Goodbye, Reavers. Look how easy that was, man. That was like a cinch. Easy. No problemo. Ooh, run away, run away, run away. Hey guys, come over here and start attacking that, just because you can. Uh-oh, there's an Archon. Oh, crap, dude. I'm gonna... Oh, gosh, that was close. Don't you dare. Don't you thank you. Run over this way, run over this way, run over this way. Oh, gosh. That was close. That's a high Templar thing right there. Oh, you want to go, Dragoon? Bye. Sucker. Get rid of that. I don't want them making any more. There's a scout. I lost one, finally. Oh, well. Oh, crap. It's a carrier. This is what I was afraid of. Oh gosh, that hurts. Kill it already. Because then all its interceptors die. So it's not like it's a big deal. I'm aware. I am trying to deal with this. Thank you very much. Oh, crap, dude. That hurts. Ow, that hurts. Oh, that hurts a lot. I lost... I lost five. So I need these guys and that one. So you sit tight there, buddy.
Oh, low zealot. Okay, we're, we're fine on that. I don't really care about that. Okay, I don't know what you... You are probably falling to mute list, weren't you? Okay, that's fine. Get over here, buddy. Because I need you to morph up. Thank you. Thank you for stalling. There you go. Okay. Oh, my. No, no, no. Go after that carrier. He's got no interceptors. Kick him while he's down. I probably shouldn't leave that guy alone, to be honest. They can always make more, but I'd love to see them try. So I just secured another base. Uh, there's a lot of minerals here, though. Okie dokie. Like I said, this mission might be a lot longer. Only because I'm taking my time and being methodical about this. I don't want to mess this up. Because once I get to the crystal, I'm, I might time vamp at that point because I think you have to wait a couple of minutes and then bring it back. So it's like, I might, I might skip forward past that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I, I see that. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Ran out of power, huh? Sucker. <laughs> I'm talking all big and bad, but I'm the inside. I'm scared, little boy. <laughs> Okie dokie. So let's go all the way on this side of the map now. Kind of get back home. Thank you guys for... I think I got like almost a whole nother six showing up here. If so, I got a whole nother fleet of mutilists. Yeah, I do. Holy moly. Okay. Eh, I'll, I'll put them on three. I'm fine with that. So I got two mutilist groups and then a whole guardian fleet. Goodbye, Reaver. I hardly knew you. Actually, I know you're kind. Your kind is stupid. I hate them so much. Okay. Um, I might want to add a couple more overlords to it, though. So we'll add these two. So I need both of you guys. One of you to follow that guy, one of you to follow that guy. Goodbye, Photon Cannon. Goodbye. Again, I, I hope I'm at least making this entertaining for some people. I, I know a lot of the time I'm very quiet. Oh, gosh. Give her high Templars. Get rid of that Archon quickly. Oh, no. Okay. Woo. -hoo. Woo. -hoo. Woo. That was close. Okay. We're good. We'd be good. Oh, we're not good. They're making units. That's a carrier, but it has no... Oh, it has one interceptor. Nice. No, I'm going to lose Guardians. Goodbye, Carrier. It was nice knowing you. Holy moly, look at all those shuttles. Get over here, Guardians, just in case there might be a photon cannon. I don't think there is. No, I don't think there is over here. Okay, good. Uh, can you guys focus on that? You guys get that, that, and that, maybe? Yeah, seems good to me. You guys just go go ham over here. You guys actually focus on that. That'd be nice. Okie dokie. Things are going pretty good. Okay. Can I expand out safely is my question right now. All forces are under attack. Oh, shoot. Get back, you idiots. Oh. <laughs> I remember that now. They're not able to actually attack me. I'm like a form of a, like a chrysalis. But the problem is it messed up my control group on that. So I need to keep a close eye on this. So when it actually drops, I need to bring them back like ASA now. This is going to mess up my whole control groups when they do this more often. Thankfully, it was only the six. That's if none of them are dead. I think it's only five in reality. Come on. I'm waiting. 
Very patiently. I think they, yeah, they just did that up there too. Shoot. Our forces are under attack. I'll have to form up the control groups later, but for right now, I need to grab a bunch of mutilists. At least I have a group of them. Because now I just noticed there's a third color, which is orange. Okay, let's build another hatchery over here. Shoot, I lost a guardian? Are you kidding me? Oh, carp, dude. You guys think you're just so clever, don't you? Oh, they do. Okay, that's what I, would, that's what I remembered them doing. They cloak nearby enemies. Arbiters do. That's what this thing is right here. That's what's keep doing that shell, by the way. Kill that, please. Our forces are under attack. I can't really afford doing Scourge. Oh my gosh. When these guys get out, you are so less screwed. Okay. Good night. Holy crap, dude. This is why I was taking it easy. Because I knew the, the other half of this fight was going to be a total pain in my butt. Goodbye, fool. Okay, so we're going to take this slow and steady again. Okay. Oh, shoot, dude. We got to run back now, boy. <laughs> I doubt these guys will be able to do much of anything, but... Goodbye. Okay, let's get a lot of these guys on the mineral line. However, I need a couple of you. Maybe four of you, I don't know. Let's, let's see what three does. Yeah, I'll put four on there. Hello, where are you going? This base is completely undefended right now, which is not good. Speaking of undefended, we lost quite a few uh, buildings. So let's replenish them. These units did not die. That's actually quite surprising. Okay, let me recoup a little bit. Um, I might skip forward. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward from here until we start moving to attack again. Because otherwise, I feel like I might be boring you guys. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've been playing a lot longer, 40 minutes. This is the main reason why I don't really like to record these videos. I'll, as much as I love the game and everything, it takes a while to record an episode. <laughs> so anyways, I'm building up the defenses on my third base over here because they just plagued me with like a bunch of, um, a bunch of units, a bunch of dragoons and zealots. This carrier was one I almost killed earlier and never managed to finish it off. Also, it was just cloaked. At least I thought it was. Either way, we're going to attack. Sunken, sunken, and sunken on each of these guys. There's a little observer. I'm not too cared. I'm not too concerned about it, you know? You guys think you're just so clever, don't you? Too bad your lives end today. I'm trying to go after my guardians. What is wrong with you? Okay. So my plan is to actually go and kill off their bases. We'll see how well that goes, considering that they have the Arbiters and stuff. Which are extremely, and I mean extremely annoying. I also have those guys. See? I have two Mutalists, one Mutalist now. Look at that, that's freaking ridiculous, right? That's what I say. Yeah, I thought so. So I might just abandon this whole plan of trying to actually kill it. Guys, move up there, please. You want to go, buddy? Huh? You want to go? 
Bring your friends. Let's all have a shenanigans over here. I dare you. I'll have to regroup them up now after this. Hey, yeah, come on, try me, punk. I probably should have saved before doing this, but oh well. I can't combat that. Okay, there we go. Everybody just kind of was like, whoop. Everybody get up here. Everybody get up here. Okay. Go and attack that guy. Man, that Arbiter's going to be a pain in my butt. Yeah, I can't progress like this. I really cannot. Okay. Yeah, keep throwing your ears at me, you punks. Oh, gosh. This game is turning me into something I don't want to be. Evil. No, I'm joking. Uh, it, it has the potential. Everything kind of does, actually. Okay, I didn't lose any guardians. That's nice. Get over here. Okay, everybody regroup up. We're just going to go straight for this chrysalis and hopefully not die in the process. Okay, don't know exactly why those are there, but that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose all this progress that I've made. Really quick, I'm gonna build enough mutilus to cover this. Let's kinda get the rally points right. And I'm gonna go with like a bunch, and I mean a bunch of Scourge because I wanna get rid of these Arbiters that are plaguing my units. So let's save again. Because, I mean, it's right here. It's so deceptively close. Okay, crap. Okay, Scourge, this is where you guys shine. Get in here. There's the Arbiter just kind of lurking. Where's that Arbiter? Come back, buddy. Yep. Figured that was gonna happen. Let's keep making more Scourge, 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 Scourge. Okay. I need to clear some of these Dragoons around these Mutas, otherwise they're gonna have a bad time. Okay. Drone, buddy, can you get to this without dying? I don't know if you'll be able to or not. Okay, guys, get down here. Okay, I have them on five and six. The crystal is being harvested. Okay, good. Ten minutes. I'm gonna time vamp this. I'm, I'm not gonna let you sit through this. And all is quiet. Seven minutes left to go. Whoop do you freaking do? Okay, we're getting close to it. Got 10, 10 seconds left. I've been sitting here literally for like the past 10 minutes, dead quiet. Lost quite a few units. I've been building a lot of scourge though. Okay, boys and girls, let's head on home. What am I? Oh, okay, it's just the beacon that's showing up. Okay, that's weird. Uh, where'd that drone go? Drone buddy. Get everybody over here. Okay. Air superiority for the win. Oh gosh. See, this mission almost took almost an hour. Well, the recording is 56 minutes, so probably could have tried to cut down a lot. Cerebrate, <laughs> the Kateran crystals are in our possession. Now, all shall tremble before the might of the swarm. All 
Are you sure about that? I don't feel like people are gonna tremble. I feel like I'm gonna collapse because I'm tired now. <laughs> Alas, no, shut the front door, you liar. 19 minutes, my left buttock. Okay, anyways. 8 p.m., 97. Not bad. For an hour. Okay, just whatever. I don't even care anymore. Just blah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. <laughs> I tried to bring back up the energy. According to my recording, it's been 57 minutes. Don't know why I keep telling you guys that. Not like you guys really need to know, but I figured I'd let you guys know. The struggles of YouTube, man, it's difficult. Not really. It's not like life and death. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll find out more what it means by full circle next time. I might record it right after this. I don't know. It depends on how long that mission might be. That mission I didn't expect being that long, but I'm going to go get some breakfast or something. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers. Thank you for watching this video. Click on the annotations to watch more videos or mobile users. You can find the video links in the description. If you want to be notified of more videos like this, please subscribe by clicking the channel icon. Thanks again and have a great day.